Dragon Ball Super Episode 30 Review. Okay, this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, let's all be honest, it was a letdown. So, most of the episode is flashbacks, and just characters filling other, other characters in on what's going on. The episode starts off with Krillin and Goku just conversing, and Vegeta and Goku decide to fill, to fill in Krillin about the stuff with Champa and Beerus and what's going on, which it would have been fine if it didn't require them recapping the whole thing. And overall, I would say this episode was about 5 minutes of new material. We got to see like 10 seconds and that being generous of, of Gohan training with Piccolo. That was interesting, it was well animated, it looked good. And they actually asked Gohan if he can participate. Well, I think Gohan asked, I forgot which. But, Gohan said he wants to participate. Goku and Vegeta say yes, he can fight. They say they'll pick him up in four days. And Gohan debates it. He debates whether or not he wants to participate or go to the conference. But in the end, he chooses the conference, unfortunately. But we all knew this would happen. But he does say he absolutely must attend it. So maybe it's really important. Maybe it's like one of those conferences, like if you don't attend it, your boss will fire you. I'm assuming that's why. And Gohan wants to get a job, and wants to keep a job, obviously. That could be the reason, I'm not sure. Very depressing, because of how, because that was like the highlight of the episode. There was, I did like getting to see more of, the, of Boo. Because when they asked Boo to fight, Boo said no, flat out. He's like, he said, I hate that guy. And he's referring to Beerus. Apparently, he hates Beerus. I found that very interesting. But besides for that, there was also the part where he, uh, they promised Boo any wish he wanted, and he said Boo doesn't want anything. Mr. Satan had given Boo everything he wants. So Boo tells Mr. Satan he will fight and Mr. Satan can have the wish, which is interesting. I mean, if they win, that is assuming they have multiple wishes. We do get to see Beerus and uh, Whis going to uh, pick up Monaka. Whis tells Beerus, did you say this is a good, I is a good idea? Beerus responds with, I can handle it. But besides that, there was a little bit with uh, Goku and Vegeta where they uh, go back and forth about whether or not they should train together in the room of spirit and time. Uh, in the end, they decide yes, of course. Then they've been testing it. The fact that they already know about the fact that you can train it for, in it for three years bothers me. Because... I always like to believe that if they would at least just say it, maybe then they did built the room differently. But no, they're acting like it's always been straight A, which really pisses me off. But whatever. And of course, after Gohan said no, they pick up Piccolo. Piccolo says he'll fight. So then, yeah, so next episode, they're probably going to go into the room of fear in time. We also get to see Bulma complaining about how Jocko hasn't arrived yet. Apparently, Goku had lied about where they're going. Which, of course, you could have consequences because Chi Chi is there during the tournament in the manga. So, yeah, there's gonna be some consequences. Goku probably gonna, she probably gonna be pretty pissed that Goku told her he was at a picnic when he was actually preparing for this big tournament, but whatever. But, yeah, this episode, if I had to rate it, I'd give it. I don't even know, a 3 out of 10? I mean, because. There was only like five minutes of new material. The left was just flashbacks with grain over it. So it looked a little so but shading was a little different, but honestly, it wasn't very good. Also, the fact that the narrator is like eighty five years old does not help. Not criticizing him at all. He he's a great voice actor, he did a great job with King Kai, but but hearing him talk and narrate for like seven, eight minutes for most of the episode can get really boring. I actually skipped over some parts of the flashbacks. No new for the it was decent. I mean, you know what? I'll be generous. I'll give it a four out of ten. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my review to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. And if you're wondering, there was no live reaction. Because I heard the episode was not live reacting worthy. And last week I was sick. 
this uh, next week I will be back with live reacting because I have high hopes for next week's episode. It looks very good, so I'll definitely live react to that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.